Well, Jordan's King Abdullah is in the United States. He is currently meeting President Obama, and of course, he is cutting that trip short to go back to Jordan. Let's cross over live now to Amman to speak to John Lillywhite, a journalist and a political analyst based there. He's previously worked at Majlis Al Hassan, an organization governed by Prince Al Hassan bin Talal of Jordan. Sir, thank you very much for joining us here on Newsday. The reaction in Jordan, we are hearing the a call for unity by the king, but of course, from what we were seeing from our correspondent in Amman, that the people there are furious with what has happened. What is the reaction that you've been seeing so far? Mm, I think, while well, a week ago there was a, a move to kind of appease ISIS and do whatever was necessary to get the pilot back, at least locally now there's, there's almost a new coalition forming where there is a sense that what happened is unacceptable, but also that rather than, um, you know, attacking the government or um, attacking some of the decisions that have been made, this is a time for national unity. So if you look at some of the statements coming out uh, from the military, from the media, um, especially Jordan TV and, and Roya TV here in Jordan, as well as all the radio stations, as well as young people on Facebook and Twitter who are all sharing, um, you know, profile pictures of the pilot changing um, you know, their, pro, their personal profile pictures to, um, you know, declarations of support and declarations of national unity, hashtags like, uh, you know, Je suis Moaz or uh, I am Moaz. So, yes, I mean, on one level, there will be serious questions that will be asked, you know, tomorrow and in the next few days. But right now, everyone is still awake. It's quite late here. Everyone is watching TV. Um, the streets aren't that crowded. Tomorrow, the churches and the mosques will be open. Um, and I think, you know, there is a sense that before, where, whereas the tribal elite, and particularly the Kassaba family, were insistent that, you know, their son had to be brought back, now you have a, a kind of uh, new formation uh, within the country from the tribal elite to, um, you know, the government, as, as well as the emerging middle class, that something has to be done about ISIS, or at the very least, some kind of demonstration of strength on the part of, of Jordan has to be made um, to kind of, you know, restore a sense of, of national pride and, and also uh, make sure that nothing like this happens in the future. So, John, are you say, suggesting that, because of course Jordan is part of the US-led coalition against IS, are you suggesting that the country is unifying behind its leaders and saying that, yes, it is good to join up with the United States and go against IS rather than maybe finger-pointing as to we got into this situation because of being in this coalition? I think that's that's one interpretation. I, actually, I, I think locally it is slightly different in that it's less about um, you know the geopolitical or kind of national interests and more about tribal unity and, and, and cultural unity here within Jordan. It's a closely knit society. Um, there has been a massive national campaign about this pilot and about what's happened. And I think whereas a week ago there was a sense that this was a very a foreign war, a U.S.-led war that this was a war that could destabilize the country, that this was a campaign that perhaps was not in Jordan's interest. After the killing of the pilot and, and, and you know, the brutal way in which, in which ISIL executed Moaz, there's almost a feeling within Jordan that um, it's not so much about, you know, fighting uh, an international campaign against ISIS, but more about, um, you know, establishing a kind of national or even, um, you know, local consensus that something has to be done. OK, John Lillywhite, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but we are, as always, out of time. But it's really good to get your perspective. John Lillywhite, journalist and political analyst based in Amman. Thank you very much. Thank you.